I was sent this charger here. Uh, it's actually, the company is ALXUM. It's actually pronounced Oxum or Awesome. This is their 100 watt GAN power charger. And we'll get uh, what we want out of it. So that's the charger there. A little bit of uh, literature. I wonder if it tells you how it displays. Okay, cool. So it actually does break it down for you. So you can see there, 100 watt power delivery on the top two, 20 watts or 18 watts on the bottom. So that's obviously, you know, for phones, 18 watts, that's fine. 20 would be also for phones. You know, if you have a fast charging phone, you could do that as well, or a tablet. And then, you know, the higher wattage is ones here on the top, your 100 watt top charger. You know, if you have like a laptop, more powerful laptop, like I have a Legion laptop that will support high wattages. We can test it with that. You can see here, if you're only using one port at the top there, you'll get 100 watts, perfect or if you're using the second slot, 100 watts, one at a time, 20 watts, whatever. If you're using two at a time, see there, you can get 65 and 30. MacBook Pro, for example, MacBook Air, uh, you'll have no problem charging them with the 65 watt. And then, you know, the other 30 watts, you could charge your tablet or your phone or whatever, your ROG Ally or Steam Deck. Holy crap, if you use all of them, you get 45, 30, 7.5 and 7.5. That's actually pretty good too. Um, so you can actually get 45 watts, which a lot of like Ultrabook laptops, um, like I have an Acer to my side here, that only has a 45 watt charger, it doesn't even have a 65 watt charger. Good weight to it, these obviously have good weight because there's some good tech inside of them. Um, feels kind of nice, it's hard plastic, uh, flip out feet there, looks good, nice and rugged. We get our chargers there, USB-C, so that's going to be your 100 watt, if you just want to do 100 watt, that's what you're going to do there, just the top one. You could go like that and get 65 watts and 35 watts. Okay, we have migrated to the super official and formal filming center, which is called my wall outlet. Um, I mean, what are we gonna do? Bring extension cord to my table. Okay, there you go, boom, right away. Immediately, the Legion likes it. So, I'm gonna rip on another brand real quick here. Uh, see that 100 watts? I had a Ugreen charger. My Ugreen charger was basically the same. It was a four port Ugreen charger, it was identical. I actually got rid of it because it would not charge my Legion laptop. The Legion does not like when the power is split improperly. Alrighty, so I booted up some Valheim here, which is can be pretty GPU intensive. Uh, you can see there we're charging, it's working is what I'll say here. Um, you can see here, you know, we're not going down. It'll This will take a minute to figure out if we're going up or down. But here you can see, um, where'd we go there? We're actually charging four watts. Um, and I'm on a game here where my GPU is, uh, let's you know, go back there, probably at, a, probably at 100%. Uh, GPU is at 96, not 100%. So I'm using my whole NVIDIA uh, RTX 4060 on balance mode. We'll test performance in a moment. And uh, CPU, you know, it's not that being used. But basically, more or less, as I'm saying here, I'm going to be able to game now on USB-C. But you can see here, I am, uh, right, I'm getting perfect performance, no issues whatsoever. And uh, we're actually charging. So that USB-C up there is giving me enough power to play with 100% GPU usage. Where do we go here? 100% GPU usage and charge, right? That's the positive. So we're actually going positive. Seven, uh, seven watts. So basically it's perfectly fine. I'm all right, I'm back now. So I'm going to uh, try to charge all these devices at one time. Uh, let's go with the iPad getting the most power because it's the heftiest of them, I would say. Uh, you get that. I had a really hard time finding uh, USB-A to USB-C. So you can see there that the iPad is charging too, 23%. So we're able to charge an iPad, a phone, a phone, a phone, all at the same time with no issues whatsoever. So clearly the device is actually working just as exactly as intended. Um, you know, if you're going to pull plug in multiple, you know, electronics like phones and that kind of thing, uh, iPhones, iPads, no problems whatsoever. Um, if you want to, you know, get the 100 watt allocation out of the top port here, I was actually able to charge my Legion laptop while gaming um, because it does support 100 watt power delivery. This is something that I need to emphasize right here. I have had several of these GAN chargers and they say that they support 100 watt power delivery, but they don't. Um, I charge them with several devices. You know, the Legion laptop is very sensitive towards getting proper power delivery, if you're playing games at least. 
it just won't work. So those two Ugreen ones, I had to get rid of them because they didn't charge anything. This one here, you know, if you take out these here, you're going to be allocating more power to each of the ports and it is working. So when you go like that there, you're going to get 100 watts. So if you have a big boy, you know, MacBook Pro or you have, you know, a Legion laptop or something like that and you want to charge and play games just over USB-C, this is enough. I can take this with me now and be able to game on my Legion laptop with this tiny little guy right here is it supports 100 watts overall. This one is actually capable of switching like it's supposed to and giving you that 100 watts on that top port there. And then, you know, if you want to allocate power spread, you can certainly go like that and then you can charge, you know, all these devices that I have sitting in front of me here. All right, let's have a quick look at some pricing here. Start off with the American website here. So it looks like it's $49.99, so 50 bucks. We'll ignore shipping because I'm in Canada. So 50 bucks US with a coupon, so 45 bucks basically, $46. It's pretty standard, I guess, uh, for a GAN charger, 100 watt GAN charger. Um, so that looks pretty good. I mean, the difference is this one actually works, unlike some of the other ones I bought. So that's good. Um, let's see what else they have here. They have all kinds of stuff. Okay, so they have like charging stations here. Um, they have like SSD caddies. They have um, like external style ones that you can just plug in if you just have like a hard drive to do swapping. So yes, yeah, so it looks like they have all kinds of cool stuff here actually. Canada, same idea. Uh, so we're looking at 67, 68 US, 68 Canadian. So 64 Canadian dollars. That's also standard up here, at least in Canada, that's pretty standard. They have a smaller one too. Um, I guess if you have like a MacBook only or something like that. Um, but this looks like the good price to me. I mean, 100 watts out of the top port's really good. So these prices look pretty good. Um, yep. So Amazon and Amazon, I'll add the, uh, I'll add some links to this in the bottom of my video. Um, I do have an Amazon, uh, storefront. Uh, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all, but if you did buy through my storefront, um, anything, um, Amazon actually gives a little bit of support to my channel. Um, I don't get anything from these guys. I don't get a link from them or anything like that, but, um, yeah, I'll leave that down there. Of course you can just search them on your own if you don't want to go through that link, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it to be honest.